Hey folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to Casa Spelly Plays Dominion. Now this is a game that we played exclusively in the Daily Grind Play series with some other co-hosts. I think I streamed the solo ones, but we're gonna play more of this game uh, in rank mode. Because I signed up for a tournament. Uh, starts the end of May, I think, May 25th. I mean like the lowest bracket, but because I'm not going to play in, a, in like sort of a league tournament and also Gonna be putting those waz up. Better not embarrass myself and put some practice in. So uh, we're gonna play some solo ranked Dominion. Don't at me. It's the the match making instant. It's beautiful. Okay, so advanced dwell. I already see things I do not understand. Groundskeeper one card one action. This is in play when you gain a victory card plus one victory points. It's excellent. I guess it's good. Uh, you know, sportsmanship to always just read after. I see Sentry, which is something I'm interested in. Split, Catapult, Rocks, I've seen this before. Farmer's Market, plus one, buy. There are four, 14 points or more on the Farmer's Market. Stockpile, take them and trash this. Otherwise, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend these three to buy a silver. Just in general, good advice there. Events, you may trash an action card from your hand. If you do, gain action card costing up to six. What? So I'm gonna trash like low cost. Plus one buy gain a silver. This is literally better than buying a silver. So I'm just dumb. I'm actually just stupid. Hold on, if I use the four gold here, I do not know what the what this card means, the bottom right being this eight. I have no idea what this is. But what I think we'll do is um dwell twice, right? Learn it, gain silver, gain our silver. So we have three silvers in our deck now. Um, is this a smart play? I can almost promise you it's not. We're going for a peer economy rush thing. The opponent's copying us. At least I feel like they are. Let me tell you, we're gonna take... Mine's another way to upgrade, but we're going to take sentry. Groundskeeper. When we have a victory card, game plus one. It's a cycling card, right? So I don't mind getting this, but I believe I don't need it per se. We're gonna just get sentries. We're gonna burn all of our cards except for we're gonna have sentries and mine. We're gonna clean our deck to be just gold, and then we're gonna buy victory position cards and just win. Right? That's uh, that's where my plan is. Don't know about yours. Now this is interesting because we got four coins again. Catapult, trash a card from your hand. If it costs three or more, each other player gets a curse. If it's a treasure, each other player discards three cards in their hand. I will take a catapult. It's a way for me to trash copper. So either catapult or mine. Groom our deck, be thin. Council room, I gotta tell you, brother, you're doing it too early. You're doing it too early. Uh, don't trash either of those. And discard the silver. You know what? Don't even discard a silver. That's fine. Diamond watering. Sure, that, that it does. Nothing matters here. With four again. Hmm. You know what? Give me a catapult. I'm okay eating some of the silvers. To be honest, I'm fine with that. He's mining. Try to silver gains a gold. Yikes! I have a gold already. This man is buying, he's using gold to buy more gold. He's winning the economy play, but it's okay. We're gonna trash double estates. Buy sentry again, and then gonna trash a third estate. We have no more victory points in our deck at this point. But look at this, right? I think we need gold. Or mine. I think mine is better. I'll take the mine. You got the invest in the longer term there. Now, unfortunately, with this hand, we're gonna have four coins in the coming turn. Not my, not the biggest fan of that, but we do make him discard, which I like. Archive, uh, charm. We buy this. Choose one plus one buy, and plus two coins. Or the next time you buy a card, this turn you may also gain a differently named card of the same cost. Uh. Very interesting. 
No, seriously. Actually, very interesting. Give me two dwarves. It just literally... Plus one buy again silver, right? Yeah. I still have one buy at the end of it, so I'm not sure what that what does that mean. Well, I gained the silver, did I use my buy? That doesn't make sense, because there are cards that does that without uh, using the buy counter, so I don't understand how that event works. And fortunately, it's fine, I don't mind how that worked out. Um, give me a sentry first. Why not trash both coppers? Let's do it. Trash both coppers. Uh, sentry again. Don't need to trash those. No. Do not trash those. Don't even discard them, that's fine. We're going to... Uh, catapult a copper. Makes uh, the enemy discard down to 30. And I think we can't mine anymore. Right. Right, I'm um, I'm a genius. Let's just say that I'm a total genius because I totally forgot that is how that works. If there are four more, uh, former I suppose I'll take them and trash this. Otherwise, I don't get farmers market. To be honest, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. But I think I will av advance a catapult. You may trash an action card from your hand. If you do so, gain action card costing up to six. Like an advance, trash my catapult to get a sentry. Okay, okay. What an incredible set. The combo wombos are just, are just supreme. Free value everywhere. I don't understand how this can be sustainable for both of us, really. But I have enough sentries that my deck is fully groomed. I think um, the plus one buy will be useful. I do need a plus one buy sometime, I think. If there are four, okay, I need to read this more seriously. If there are four more on the farmer's market, if there are four victory points or more on the farmer's market supply pile, take them and trash this. Otherwise, add one to the pile, plus one gold for victory point on the pile. I, I just, too much big brain. Your game, dude, your game is too difficult. Okay, you know what? Do this. When you play this, I'll when you play this. Okay, I need a charm. I, let me tell you, I need to have the charm. The charm is plus one buy, which means we can buy two promises later on as we get an explosive economic boom. I believe in that, but now the opponent has a lot of gold. In fact, they have at least three or four now. A city quarter. Plus two actions. See, I don't, I don't get that. I do not understand. I don't need to trash any of those cards, please. But do discard the silver. Yeah, and then I can get a mine to guarantee myself a play. We're gonna trash the, the last one there, that's fine. Um. Sure, let's discard the catapult. We're gonna mine, and we are gonna just, you know, upgrade the, the silver here. I don't see why we don't do that. That's fine. Here's the thing, if I trash the silver, I do understand. If I trash the silver, I can get a charm, which is a treasure of 5 cost. But, I'm thinking... The charm is a is an expensive silver, right? Let's take a gold. And I have two of this. What is that? What is that? Huh? I don't understand. Teach me, please. Don't trash. But do discard both. Because I want to draw into action. Right? We're gonna trash this. That's fine. Now, do I discard this? I don't need to. Just. That's fine. Now let me tell you, we have a decent amount of money. We're gonna choose plus buy plus two coins to go to 11. What can we do with 11? For gain card. You may also gain a different name card of the same cost. 
So I can get like for example Sentry Council Room. I can get Sentry Council Room. Let's do game card here, because then we I actually want to get charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sentry is too much. Charm council room. This card is insane. This card is incredible. Wow, that is that is powerful. I can't believe that other guy didn't didn't just do this, you know? Like, come on. Give me a sentry. Uh don't trash, but do discard. We're gonna mine. Upgrade. There's still a gold. We do need some gold in this game, right? We're gonna take get rid of our catapult. I think we're done with it. I can get a six cost action card. Okay, so that is uh my bad because I forgot that is an action card only, but a library is excellent. Wait, the event ends my turn? I did not know that. I didn't know that because if I had I had I known, <clears throat> I would have chose to buy a, a promise at that turn. Probably this is turn fourteen is definitely time to just buy, uh, buy with three points. Council room is also a plus one buy. Oh man, oh man. So he's gonna start buying, which makes actually no with nine coins and two buys, it's too tempting to not. It's too tempting. He won't buy a promise here, I don't think. But let me tell you, I would have bought a promise last turn. Yeah, he did not buy it. He doesn't feel even he doesn't even feel threatened. That's that's how how BM we're being we're being screwed over right now. We're gonna not trash but discard the silver. Sentry again. You know. Uh no need to trash a mine. But do discard both. Because I want to draw into the gold. Library, we have what, six cards. Library does draws way less. And uh, we have enough coins right now to just buy the province. So do I really need, you know, a council room to give him more draws? I don't know. If I draw into, let's say, two gold and the silver, I can buy two. Right? Let's do it. Who dares wins? And I think I did exactly that, right? Gold, gold, silver, silver, silver. Charm. Charm. Okay, that was a lag there. I thought I screwed up. But we're gonna buy double promise. How can you possibly catch up to us, right? Now we started the combo probably two turns too late, but uh, we're on a very low elo. You know, the MMR is only thirty six point two or something. I don't know what that means in uh, in Dominion ranking, but I know I'm placed on the bottom bracket of the entire league, so couldn't be too high. By the way, the dude has a uh, nine return points. He just bought one this turn. Okay, he sees the heat. He realizes ass is burning. Library, you may buy cards. If I never say so, okay. Let's go. Plus one buy, plus two coins, or gain a card. Gain a card of six cost is not use of a cost. There's no a cost card. So let's give me the the buy here. I'll buy a promise for sure to get ahead. Now with three coins, do I even bother? I didn't know. I could have bought first and then advance at the end of it. To be honest, that would have been a fantastic idea. Now it's kind of uh, kind of yikes. Hmm. Uh, I mean, this does nothing. This just a, is a free silver. I mean, it's not free, but it's really do I want a farmer's market? No, I do not want another farmer's market. The silvers are too expensive right now. I think I'll end by. Strangely enough, I think I'll do that. Now I realize I don't get to use uh, mine a lot anymore. Oh, but he did put a council room. The fool! He gave me extra cards, just like I give him. The fool. You gotta play around your opponent's stuff. Groundskeeper, good cycling card. Plus one with two point. That is a way to keep up, by the way. You right? just cycle a lot with groundskeeper and sentries, and then you buy with three points and catch up. He's catching up. In fact, he's uh, superseding me. 
Now, if I buy two, here's a here's a dangerous part. If I buy two promises, you could just win. It's very really tricky because I burned three with two points in the estates in my hand. So this is uh, actually alarming. We're not gonna trash, but we're gonna discard the promise. We're gonna sentry again to get another sentry. Uh, to I trash the silver? Nah, but I do discard the silver. Sentry again to guarantee draw. Now, confirm trashing? No, but I do discard both. Now what I do, I have 6, 10, 12. 12's not enough to buy 2. But if I buy 2, he can't win by buying 1, right? We got, we're, we're in 10 points lead. He has to buy... Three buys with two duchies and then the final promise to win. So I think we we roll for the need. We just roll. Because we have two buys. Actually, I will have three buys. We can already buy everything. Gain another card costing the same. Eight? That doesn't that's not happen. Let's just do this. Buy out two other promises. And I think this is checkmate, right? Because we're leading by 10 points. You need to buy two duchies and the promise to win. And I see copper draws. So it's over. Um, as long as we get you know, enough to buy something. But we didn't. We, we started drawing the promises, which is a problem, you see. It's a problem. We're going to not trash any of them and not discard any of them because I do want to uh, sentry to cycle into the... I mean, to, to have the council room for the final push. But let me tell you, we're going to buy duchies to keep us ahead we're not going to need to worry anymore because we're not gonna shuffle our deck this this game will end this game will end and we get a delicious delicious elo points give me the mmr come on come on you can't reach you're you're being chokeholded there's nothing you can do we're gonna trash the mine should have done that a while ago and not trash the gold Oh baby, I don't know what to do here, but... Oh, you know what? I do know what to do. No, we don't discard this. We're gonna Sentry to get it. We're gonna Tutor for goals exclusively, so we're going to... Not Trash, of course, but discard both. And we're gonna go Library. We have no Copper. Library means we're guaranteed to draw, what? One, two, three, four. We're guaranteed to draw three cards. Which in any combination, even if I have three silvers, I guarantee myself the win. Right, so there we go. That is what she wrote. GG. The game has ended. Alright. Good start to uh, turn 18. That is That game ended faster than I thought because we didn't start buying until like turn 13, 14. And then very quickly things just fell apart. I mean GG. Uh, the opponent has already left, so so much for the GG. But this, this has been a good first episode to the series. We're gonna play more, but uh, that'll be a separate video. So thanks for watching. If you like this content, leave a like, comment, subscribe uh, for more like this, and that helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time. See ya.